Hello everybody, this is Rob Blackburn, and recently I uh, tried out Google PageSpeed Service, something that I stumbled on just yesterday. It looked really cool, figured I'd give it a try. Uh, I stumbled on it while looking at Google's PageSpeed uh, plugin for Chrome, um, and in there they've got a little advertisement for their PageSpeed Service, which is a little different. Um, from what I read, it struck me very similar to Akamai, and if you're not familiar with Akamai services, they basically speed up your site by creating like a network of servers that is a proxy between your site and their site. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff like uh, uh, compression, a lot of HTTP, uh, TCP IP stuff that's way over my head. Um, and it was a very similar looking service to that. Uh, Akamai service is rather expensive. It's really meant for enterprise sites. Uh, so it's not something that an individual like myself or small business really could tap into. Uh, so this sounded really, really neat. Um, the service is still in beta, uh, Google service I mean. Uh, uh, is still in beta um, and it's invite only and by that I don't know what they mean because you really just go to their site type in your email address and within a couple of hours they send you a login so you're kind of inviting yourself so invite only is a little bit of a loose term there but really cool um, I'm assuming that they've got some sort of like a, a audit process that a human intervention is, is involved there and that's why they're doing their, their uh, uh, invite only type thing um, but very easy to do very easy to get an account they you know, gave me an account probably within a half hour. It really didn't take that long. Uh, the actual setup of the service was a bit technical. Um, uh, it definitely required a little bit of knowledge about DNS entries and server names and things like that. Uh, so even for somebody uh, in the technical industry like myself, it took a little bit of research, a little bit of, uh, of working around. They had a lot of great material, however. They've got videos, documents. Uh, most likely even somebody who's not a technical pro person probably could kind of get through it. They may need a little help, um, but somebody with a technical background wouldn't have any trouble at all, I don't think, as long as you took the time and patience to actually watch their videos and their learning material. Uh, so you got to take that time a little bit. Uh, but within, uh, you know, a half hour after getting my account, the learning material had given me enough to actually know what I needed to go do. Um, so it's not like a heavy learning curve, but you do got to take a little time to understand what is needed to set things up. Uh, so what I ended up doing uh, was setting up my blog. Uh, with this service, uh, rwblackburn.com. Figured it was a nice uh, site to uh, give it a shot, you know, just try it out. Um, so I set it up. The uh, setup took um, maybe an hour. Um, the only reason it took even that long was because I did have to go back to my service provider um, and ask them to change a domain C name. All that's in the help docs. Um, and so I had to wait for them. Um, the control panel I have with them didn't allow me to make a C name that was an external site like uh, Google needed. But my service provider, which is Java Pipe, by the way, great site, great service, very accommodating. They turned around that support ticket very quickly for me within an hour, boom, had it set up. Uh, and it was actually really surprisingly easy once I got going. Um, you know, it just kind of boom. I looked and status is updated. It's working. It was wonderful. Uh, and they actually, in the Google PageSpeed service, they've got a little link to test out uh, the performance of your new setup. So I ran this, uh, just checking to see what the results were. Uh, my initial run for the US East Coast uh, actually showed that the performance of my site was slightly slower than it was before. Uh, by like milliseconds. I mean, a, a fraction of a second slower. Uh, after I thought about this for a second, and my experience using Akamai with some of my previous jobs gave me a little insight um, that really what's happening here is uh, my service provider is already very fast, and this is a very small site, very, you know, uh, not a lot of material being moved around, and the extra steps for the DNS to do all the lookups were those extra little milliseconds there. Um, and you know, presumably, I was doing a U.S. East Coast test, um, and presumably, uh, the uh, my service provider is probably on the East Coast as well, and so they were responding very quickly. It was when I moved on to the European and Asian tests that you really saw an impact. Uh, now we're talking whole seconds faster. I mean, I, I'm going off the top of my head here, but I think the old site was like five seconds in Europe, and it took two or three uh, through the service. Asia was even worse. It was like seven, eight seconds for my site to respond with the old service. With uh, uh, Google PageSpeed service, it was four or five. Um, I'm actually going to link all those results uh, here in the video comments and on my blog, so you can take a look for yourself. See exactly, you know, what the service uh, performed like. It was, it was an impressive increase. Uh, so from uh, a local site, 
uh, it was not uh, that big of a, of a, of a change. Uh, for a European or Asian uh, location, big change, big effect, big change. From my perspective, very much worth it. Uh, you know, you take, sure, there's a little bit of extra DNS lookup, which you're talking milliseconds of time, uh, but especially overseas, you're going to see such a big gain in performances, which is originally why in some of my previous jobs, we even went into services like Akamai, is in China, in Singapore, in Japan, you got such slow response times just because you're going around the world pretty much, and that's what these services really do. Um, so it's really awesome that Google's made this service available. Uh, I entirely plan on uh, implementing this on some of my other sites like our uh, blackburnandsungames.com where I've got some applications up there. Kind of curious to see what the performance impact to like a uh, mobile application might be. Um, but all in all, uh, very impressive. I, I loved the service. Uh, it seemed to work very well. Um, which does bring up, uh, my, my only concern is it is in beta. Um, I didn't find any material about, you know, what their, uh, cost plan is, how much they're going to, the fees might be for using the service after it comes out of beta. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of curious, you know, it is such a powerful service. Uh, what is it going to really cost in the end? Um, Google's got a good history of being very friendly to individuals and small businesses. So I'm hoping that that'll hold true here that um, even after they come out with the service that'll either be free or very low cost for individuals and small businesses, enterprises can uh, take care of themselves. Um, so uh, we'll have to wait and see there, but so far so good. I love the service, definitely saw a great impact. Um, something to watch and something that I plan on implementing uh, in other areas. Uh, so thank you very much, um, and there will be more videos here hopefully posted on my blog in the future. Um, I'm kind of changing the format from a traditional text blog to a video blog kind of format just to try it out and see if it works better. All right, thank you for watching.